Hey everyone, this is Greg. I just wanted to let you know why I haven't been on uh, the channel lately with any new tutorials. And the reason is that uh, for the, about the past couple of weeks, my studio has been under construction and I had to basically move out of it. Uh, and then uh, just uh, early this week, we had the whole coronavirus thing. And uh, since I'm in the Bay Area, we're now under a shelter in place order and all of the businesses, including the one I work in, is closed. So I wasn't able to use the studio. Uh, fortunately, I was able to get all the equipment out of the studio uh, and take it home so I can get still get some work done. It's going to take me a little time to get everything set up and running. Uh, but I thought I'd just give you a quick look at what's going on uh, and uh, tell you a few things that are up and running. So basically the, the place I'm working in is like a small bedroom. You can see the reverse here. Uh, it's uh, a little crowded. There's junk everywhere right now. So uh, it's not as nice as the uh, fairly large studio I was working in. I had a 25-foot screen in there, and here I've got a 10-foot wide one. Um, and uh, But you can see um, I've got these uh, two lights set up that uh, make the camera look a whole lot better. Uh, and uh, the other thing that uh, I've been playing with is I've got uh, NDI set up on my phone, so I can show you things like the microphone I'm using, and the light up here is a uh, Godox light. Uh, and this light over here is a, just a GVM LED light. I'll just pan around. You can also see the poles holding up the Vive trackers. So what's new this week? Uh, I'll let you know. Um, I've basically been spending a lot of time cramming all this gear into my little apartment. Uh, but there are a few things that are progressing. Uh, I uh, was able to get the NDI plugin to uh, work with uh, Unreal. It took a little bit of work with help from some other people on the Discord channel, uh, but uh, we got it to compile. It's not very easy to use, and it's a you know a little glitchy, but it does seem to work with, for bringing in sources like the iPhone, uh, which is what I was doing right here. This is wireless video from my iPhone 10. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. So being able to bring that into the uh, um, Unreal and uh, do use it for virtual production is actually pretty interesting. Uh, you'll be I've actually tested it and I can pull a key chroma key off of the uh, iPhone and it works great. So. Um, that's what's new. I'm, I'm going to see what I can do to get uh, some tutorials on things uh, out during now that I'm stuck at home for the next three weeks or so. Um, and uh, I will try and get a, uh, some information out on the uh, NDI plugin. If you guys are interested in it, let me know. Because uh, if no one's interested, I probably won't do much to, with it for now. So that's really about it. I'll be trying to get some more tutorials out over the next couple of weeks while I'm stuck at home, and uh, we'll see what co happens. I'll, I'll try to keep updating you with little uh, vlog posts uh, and see what happens. Bye-bye.